All right, good afternoon, everybody. Um, you know, one of the baits that I really like throwing a lot is these little poppers. I have several different ones. This one right here is a Booyah Boss Pop. I like the three inch version of the poppers. Um, one of the things about a popper though that you eventually have to change out is these little treble hooks on the back of them have the little feathers. As you can see, I've caught a few fish on that. I might have hung it in a tree once or twice. I'm not gonna say I have it. Um, banged it on the rocks a few times. So what that does over time is that feather gets stored up. So a lot of times what we do is we go buy um, just another one that already has a feather on it. Well, I got tired of doing that years ago and uh, I decided I was gonna to try to figure out how to tie these feathers on here uh, because when you go buy a pack of hooks, you buy 11 of them, they're already nine, ten dollars anymore. Well, then you go buy the feathered ones and you're paying about eight or nine dollars just for two hooks. And then you don't always have the same sizes. Sometimes you use one of number six on a little smaller ones. Sometimes you use number fours. These are number fours. One of the benefits too, to being able to tie your own feather on your treble hook is, you know, a lot of times we go buy treble hooks and there's only certain ones that are already tied. When you tie your own, you can buy whatever treble hook you want to and tie your own feather to it. So that makes it a big convenience too. Plus you can buy you a pack of them or 11 of them most of the time if you buy those Gamagatsus. Now you got 11 different ones. You can sit down and tie them, pre-tie them as many times as you want when you're on the water. You don't have to worry about it. If you was to break one, lose one, whatever, you can just switch it out and keep going. So it's very, very helpful to be able to tie your own. So I'm gonna show you here in just a minute how with just basic things that you can buy that I've literally had these little bag of feathers. I've had this uh, stuff that I'm gonna show you. I've had it for over, well over a year and it's still making me new ones, okay? So I'm gonna skip through the video here just a second and I'm gonna take this treble hook off of here because it may take me just a little bit and then I'll start the video back up. All right, so we've got our hook cleaned off fairly good. I mean. It's not perfect, but it's cleaned off good enough. The hook itself don't need to be replaced. It's still pretty sharp. Uh, so we're gonna leave that sitting right there. So basically all you really need is, this right here is just regular fingernail polish. Um, fingernail polish has, uh, it'll dry just kind of like a, a polyurethane wheel. And you can get gel coats you can get whatever you want to with it but i've just always just grabbed whatever whatever type they've got there um in the fingernail polish section uh, you need a little spool of thread don't have to be any special thread this right here is just regular thread that you would buy uh in your sewing and department at just about any little retail store i like red just because that's usually what you see on them a lot of times. Um, these little feathers, these are also just a little hobby store. This little bag, of course I bought it years ago and this little thing cost me I think like a dollar or two. And uh, I bought a whole little bag. You can buy them in different colors if you want to. You can put tinsel and all kinds of different things on these, but I just usually just put the feathers on it with the string and that's, that's all I really do with it. Uh, but what you wanna do, of course you can't use this top part right here uh, but that right there from there down that'll make a pretty good that right there should make a pretty good feather so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here just a little ways and we're going to clip that off okay then we're going to take our second one we're going to do the same thing we're going to come just a little ways up there's no exact measurement that i ever do um honestly um then what I do is I take some of this red thread right here. Let's go ahead and open this up because this is usually the fingernail polish is hardest one to fool with. Um, so what I do here is I take this red thread, okay? Stick it through the eye of that treble hook, all right? So you don't have to get fancy with the knots either. So all I'm doing here all I'm doing is, is taking this, I've got one side of the thread in each hand. 
All I'm doing is a regular overhand knot. That's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna take that overhand knot and I'm gonna do it two, maybe three times, okay? Like I said, th this is very simple. You can make this as complicated as you wanna make it, but I'm telling you, I've done this for years and I've never had one fall apart. Um, I've just never have. All right, so the, the, the little short end, we're gonna kind of leave it hanging there. The, um, the longer end, I'm gonna hold it to the side. You don't have to, but I'm going to. All right, so we're gonna take one of these little feathers. This is the one thing that I do that you do have to kind of, you don't have to do it this way, but this is the way I do it. So now we're gonna take the shorter end, that, that little narrow end, and we're gonna push it through the eye right there of that treble hook, okay? Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna push it back the other way. And you see how those are crossing each other, okay? And then all I do, and I've got them, I guess it's about quarter inch, half inch on either side. You can do it however you want to. Then I'm gonna to go to the top of that treble hook and I'm gonna push them down. That's all I'm gonna do. And I've got a little bit to where I'm gonna hold on, okay? Now, as you can see, that eye right there, I can see it, right? You can see, be able to tie something on. So now I'm gonna take that long end of that um, thread, that red thread that I've got there, and all I'm doing is I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wrap this around this a couple times, okay? It's not gonna look pretty at first, that's fine. Now, I take this thread, I pinch it right here in these two fingers, I grab it, turn it over, and then lay it on top of it, and then I pull it tight. All that did was throw a little knot in that line so that it's holding it tight. That way I can let go of this and see it's holding the thread for me now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fix this and make it the way that I want it to be, okay? I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit make it just a little bit neater. All right, so now I'm gonna push that down. I'm gonna go back to my thread and I'm gonna go back to wrapping it around. Now you can buy all kinds of little fancy things to put your thing in and hold it and all this other stuff like them fly tying guys do, but I, I've never had the need for it. And like I said, this right here has worked fine for me for a long time. Now I throw two or three of these same knots in here Okay, now we've got it pretty much covered to where that red's all the way around it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of that fingernail polish and we're gonna go right over top of that thread. And that thread, we don't wanna put it too heavy, but that thread right there is gonna soak up that fingernail polish. All right, it's gonna soak it up. So we're gonna do that once or twice. Then we're gonna go back to wrapping this just a little bit more. We're gonna make another one of those little turns. Another one of those little turns right here. All right, now we're gonna pull about a foot, maybe that line off. You can cut it off with scissors. Okay, now all I've got is I've got that tied and I've got this loose end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing we did at the very beginning. I'm gonna take this thread, I'm gonna put it back through the eye of that treble hook if it'll let me, there it goes. All right, and all I'm doing is I'm tying another overhand knot, same as I did before, in that little, in that thread push it through okay all I'm doing is going through that little loop that I'm making pulling it tight I'm gonna do that one more time you can do this as many times as you want to whatever you feel comfortable with it'll be fine okay 
Now, I've got both those little red tag ends. You don't have to have them. I'm gonna sit there and I usually leave them hanging just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna take that fingernail polish and I'm gonna go over there one more time and I'm gonna go over that. It doesn't take his fingernail polish very long to dry. If you was to get the gel kind, it might actually hold better. But like I said, I've done this for years. And that fingernail polish right there never has come off. I've never had one break, break free the whole time I've done this. And I've done it for a long time. All right, so there's your finished product right there. So we took the treble hook that we already had. We spent maybe a couple dollars, whatever you pay for the fingernail polish, the thread and the little bag of those little feathers. I've had them for years. So we've saved ourselves a little bit of money because we would have been out and tried to buy us one that already had feathers on it. It probably cost us about five or six dollars just for two of them. And, uh, Maybe it'll save you a little bit of money. We're going to take a second and we're going to show you, let it dry for just a minute and I'll put it back on the bait and then we'll wrap it up. All right, there we go. There's a little Booyah Boss Pop fixed. Got a new feathers, new feathers on it. It's ready to go again. We should be able to catch a few fish. Thank the good Lord above if he uh blesses us with a few but uh hopefully that right there will help you save a little bit of money um you can rewind it rewatch it if you're having trouble with it message me i don't care a bit to help you talk through it um anyway hope that blesses you i hope you catch a few more fish more than anything i hope you go out and have fun and enjoy god's creation y'all have a blessed day